Apple has finally done it. They have linked Apple Reminders and Apple Calendar together. So now you can see your reminders inside of your calendar, the due dates and times and all the things like that. You can now see it across your phone, your iPad and your Mac if you're on iOS 18 or Mac OS Sequoia. So let's talk about all the things you need to know to get this set up on your devices. If I open up the calendar app on my phone here, you can see I'm looking at the month view. There's actually three new views here at the month level view. So if you click this setting here, you can see the compact view. You can see a new stacked view with your events and you can see a more detailed view, which is really, really awesome. But let's get into the reminders here. So if we dive into the 16th here, all you're gonna have to do is click calendars. And when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see scheduled reminders. You wanna make sure that that's checked marked so that way your reminders will appear in your calendar. So if we click done, we will see here tomorrow, I've got put out garbage at 5 p.m. right there, and I've got clean the gutters tomorrow at 6 p.m. You'll see that those are different colors, and it's because those colors are actually being pulled in from Apple Reminders on those particular lists. So let's look at an example and see exactly how this works inside of the calendar app. So here we are, we are in Mac OS Sequoia. So let's go ahead and click the little plus icon up here. You can see we can create a new calendar event or we can create a new reminder. So if we go ahead and click new reminder, we can say print reports. Let's go ahead and make it today and let's do it at 8 p.m. there. And you can see it defaults to my personal list you can easily change that to something else. So we will leave it there. We'll click done and you can see instantly print reports shows up in Apple Reminders. Now we can do the exact same thing over on the reminder side. So if we go over here and say send marketing analytics daily at 8 a.m. Let's go ahead and enter that in and you'll see that that gets automatically added to the calendar instantly. This is incredible. You used to have to use a third party app or a different calendar to sync everything together, but now it just works natively. Let's take a look and see how you can do this in your iPhone as well using iOS 18. If I go ahead and click the plus icon up here, I can add in event details or we can add a reminder. So let's go ahead and say print reports and we're gonna change this to today at 8 p.m. And again, you can make it repeat or you can change the list. We'll go ahead and click add and you can see it right there on the calendar. Now let's go ahead and do this from reminders to make sure that it works in our calendar app. All right, here we are, I'm in my personal list. Let's go ahead and send marketing analytics daily at 8 a.m. You can see tomorrow, daily, it auto-populates all of that, and we are done. So now, when we jump back to our calendar here, let's swipe to the next day. You can see, send marketing analytics, and it has auto-populated across all of the days. Another thing you can change in your settings is whether or not you can see previously completed reminders in your calendar. If you wanna go ahead and change that, what you will do is go into the calendar app, you will click view and you can see show completed reminder. So if we bring that back up, you'll see my reminder pop back up or you can easily change that as well. So that is everything you need to know about Apple reminders and the Apple calendar and the new default integration that's available on iOS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia. So if you learned something new, leave a like or a comment or subscribe and I will see you around in the next one.